Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Coach Chris is back from his touring of the summer from Tunisia and in France, and he is now on a racket journey. Why is he on a racket journey? Stay tuned. Coffee sponsor of today is Tom Drescher. So as you see, it's nighttime already, but Tom Drescher told his son, Matthew, the backhand Drescher, to buy me a coffee on him. So Matt, the backhand, got me a coffee this morning and said, my dad said to buy you a coffee. And I said, well, tell your dad, thank you. So if you or your dad or your dad's dad want to buy me a coffee, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. I love those dads, dad's dads out there for hooking it up and telling their boys, buy that tennis spin guy a coffee. I appreciate you. All right. So we got another racket journey with Coach Chris here, and I guess he needs a little something, something from those pro staffs, regular pro staff 97. So let's get Coach Chris in here and see what's going on. Welcome back from the ITF tour. Thanks. Tell me what's going on. All right. So coming back from the tour, uh, I'm always also thinking about changing rackets. I feel that sometimes, it, as I'm playing with the pro staffs that I have, I'm not getting enough uh, kind of power pushing my opponent back the way I play. So I want something that gives the racket that's a bit more forgiving and that gives me a little bit more pop into my shots based off the way I play. Play very much the game that I play is very much uh, counter puncher esque. So I have to rely on my physicality and um, get my opponent to be pushed back with the kind of ball that I'm hitting. And sometimes with the pro staff, it just leaves my ball a bit too exposed for them to attack all the time. Okay, so I've picked out a couple rackets um, for this session. You've picked out a couple rackets for this session. Um, let's try them out and then we'll review it at the end. Stay tuned. All right, so we just got off the court. 
Coach Chris has been trying some of these rackets pretty much all week already, but I wanted to see how he hit with it, you know, in real life, just to hear his critique on them and to maybe tell him what I see from the other side. So, uh, Coach Chris, we chose kind of a nice mix of rackets here. Um, let's start with what you didn't like and why. Okay, so I would have to say the Solinko. It... This is my racket. <laughs> <laughs> Not because it's Harry's racket. But also, I just felt like this uh, is still a little bit incomplete in terms of um, what I'm looking for. When I'm hitting through the shots, I didn't feel, I felt like it was not um, responsive enough. It didn't give me that kind of plow through that I was looking for in a racket. After you're swinging a few a little bit more times, I would normally feel it. But this one, I think I required to actually accelerate more, kind of similar to actually a pro staff in some way, so, yeah. Got it. Yeah, so I actually freshly strung this racket um, oh, two days ago, 55 pounds, um, as you saw with my label here. Um, so it's on the tight side. I'm trying to figure out my range in terms of uh, string tension. So I strung this one tight just to see how I would like it. I haven't added weight or anything to it, so I thought, Coach Chris, before I start going crazy with the weight, um, have him try this. So and I agree. I think it needs a little bit more weight to it to balance out the racket. I think it's. I think maybe in the handle actually. That's why I felt like it needed a little bit more, or uh, you know, yeah, something a bit, st bit more kind of stability through it as you're hitting. Okay. Um, and again, yeah, the strings. I'm fine with 55. It just, it just felt like it was lacking some. It was lacking. Some, it wasn't complete. So. It's an inch, half an inch longer too. Oh, there you go. So that might be what's throwing you off a yeah, little bit. Yeah, that could be too. So yeah. I didn't, I didn't think he would like this one. He's probably more of a whiteout kind of guy. But I thought I'd just throw mine in there just to see what he thinks. Um, what else didn't you like? Let's say. Uh, the next one following that would be our tango. So. This is the new Artanga. I played with the 1821, right? Mm -hmm. The this 1619. 1619. TR960 Tour. I like the power behind it, but I think, again, just after hitting with it a bit more, um, it was kind of reminiscent of a pro staff, but it felt, I'm looking for something other than a pro staff. So uh, it, it, Gave me a little bit of on the. It felt like a little bit on the stiffer side too as well. But there are points where I did feel like the frame when I injected a little bit of pace, it did bend a little bit too as well. But overall, I like this one better. It did have more pop than the 1820. Uh, I still think it's a it's it's a very good competitive racket if you're looking for something similar to play with. So yeah. So Coach Chris probably looking for a little more power than this. Um, Again, this is freshly strung, yeah. probably a couple of days ago, and uh, uh, I thought it felt great the way it was. When he first tried it, he, he, he immediately came to me and said, wow, <laughs> that's different than the 1820. Mm -hmm. and, and I was like, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so um, this kind of would be in the running, except that Chris is looking for a little bit more pop from the racket. So, yep. but great racket otherwise. Uh, next. So next, I think right now it's a little bit of a toss up between these two. So Radical MP, I've been trying all week too as well. Um, and then the, the new uh, E-Zone 98. So uh, the reason why they're very close is because they aren't as heavier, heavy, on the heavier lines compared to the rackets I'm playing with. So they are a little bit, they take a little bit more time for me to get used to because they're a bit lighter. Um, when I play through it, I definitely get the power that I want. So I'm getting it, but I have to now cal calibrate it a little bit more and learn how to play with these rackets. So they're actually quite good, but off the bat of playing them, I would need to try them out a little bit longer to get familiar with how I can swing and, and use them a little bit more. But they're both very solid rackets. So. Got it. So Coach Chris was using a Pro Staff 97 with weight on it. So we're looking at strong weight close to... Maybe 20-ish. 
almost yeah. 12 ounces with the lead yeah. and stuff in it. So, but it started off at 11.1 before strings. So, I mean, they're going to be heavier than these just, you know, in naked form without strings. So I get it. You're, you're not feeling the, the head of the racket come through as naturally as you normally do yet. Okay. Last two, baby. What's going on? So the last two, we'll go with this one now. I'd say it's there in terms of what I'm looking for. Again, it's in perspective of, uh, the 97 Pro Staff, okay? So I'm looking for something with a bit that plays differently. And I feel like this is definitely plays differently. I, I really get, I think Fury did a really good job with this racket. I don't know if I, this is, I think this is the first time I play with it. I'm not sure. Second. Second time. So I started hitting with it a little bit more and I was like, oh yeah, this, this feels good. This has a little bit more pop to it. Um, and this is exactly what I was looking for, that easy kind of effortless power as I'm swinging through the shot. Um, I definitely can get a lot more depth with this one. It's, it was definitely pleasant to hit with, so. Okay, and so far the front runner is? Front runner is the E-Zone 98 Tour. I think they did a really good job with this racket. Uh, this racket itself, the frame, I, it's like you can just play with this racket in stock form. I think after hitting with it a couple times, um, I, what it reminds me of is that I, I really do get that power. I really do get that effortless power, and I want to test it out some more. But it just felt good as I was hitting with it. I got a nice kind of, I got a nice plow through when I was hitting through it. The ball was going deep, and it was doing what I wanted to do. So it's definitely something I want to spend a little bit more time with playing with. So. All right. So we dated a bunch of rackets, and so far... The EZO 98 Tour is treating us good. We got that good night kiss tonight. And uh, let's see if we want date number three. All right. So we'll continue Coach Chris's journey soon. All right. I want to thank Coach Chris for having us with you on this racket journey. And hopefully um, we'll take a lot shorter than my journey, which took like six or seven months. Did okay. it really take that long? I think it did. I'm serious. I'm very fickle. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So I, I hate everything. <laughs> okay. All right. Coach Chris, where can they find you? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis. And? That's it. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Hey man, he, you can tell he been some, through some emotional damage. No man, <laughs> you look like you went through hell and back. You need some AP tennis, that's what you need. Babe, I, I have some emotional damage. Uh.